very easy for me to say this is my all-time favorite Batman comic. I just, I loved everything about it. It's just brilliantly paced. It's brilliantly drawn. We come from the same school of paring your stuff down and making it as solid and readable as possible. And that's one thing I think the Batman Year One has in spades. It's just, it's so pared down, it's so solid, it's not abstract, it's simple in a lot of ways, but when he wants to draw something, it's brilliant. There's shots of a guy's office where he's got lots of toys and weird things in it. All of it's in there, but still, you don't have to hunt and look. What I've aimed for and what David really does well is it is instantly readable. But I might do like a silhouette of a train or you know two lines to indicate a train station. He drew the whole thing, except it doesn't detract from what's important on the page. A lot of comic book artists cannot draw people in street clothes. David seemed to be coming from the completely the other direction where everybody felt normal. There's a couple shots of Batman in there where it looks like he was drawing Adam West. Batman's, at one point, Batman is running towards you and he's like huffing and puffing. He looks like he's out of breath and maybe he needs to lose 10 pounds. It's just fantastic. And there's, there's a bit of, I think it's Barbara Gordon leaning over. She's wearing like a nightgown and the way He's got the little thin strap of her nightgown hanging off her shoulder. It's not in any kind of real sexy way, but it was just such a great, brilliant little observation on what happens with clothing. It was just, it's such a subtle little thing. That's just brilliant. It's just, it's such a perfect, beautiful, natural observation. And the book's full of just real organic, natural movement, but it's still a great, big, solid superhero comic. If Batman wasn't in it, it would still be a great book about people moving around. I seem to remember him coming in with a sketch, his rough sketch for the cover, and saying, let's just use the sketch for the cover because it was one of those things where it was done so small, but it was so raw and it was so perfect that any second go at that piece was gonna lose something. There's a lot of style in Batman Year One, and David, part of the genius of his style is that the style doesn't detract from the storytelling. Batman Year One, I think, doesn't have the maybe cultural impact, historic impact that Dark Knight has. I mean, that was a huge game changer book. Batman Year One, I think is better and it's just a little bit quieter. It was David doing his best job. It was like everything he learned along the way, he put into there and went, well, I've done that as well as I can do it.